Love is love. Adi yo. We're here. Coffee's really strong. So we're following some guy down the alleyway. I love moments like this. How bored is that? Thank God. I have no idea what it is, but I'm excited because I love water and I hate puppets. Morning from Hanoi. to Vietnam. It is insane out here. We've got bikes coming at us in all directions. And there are so many shops. Wow. We've had quite a lazy morning this morning. We had a free breakfast at our nice. hostel. Nice. And a swim. We have a pool as well. Freezing cold. <laughs> it's Great. nice to cool down in. Everyone's freaking out about the coronavirus now uh, in the hostels. People are planning to leave, go to different parts of the country, go to different countries. This will be a whistle stop tour. We're only going to be in Hanoi for a day. So we're going to go and find an egg coffee in amongst all this madness. That's the first thing we're going to do egg in coffee. Vietnam. Pick it up and make sure you stir it. Those are ideal in the Guess where the egg yeah. mix is in. Yeah. It comes in a little bain marie as well. It's in like hot water, I think. I think this is hot. Yeah. I'm gonna stir it first. Mmm. Wow, that's so good. It's so sweet. Mmm. It's actually like more like a dessert. Oh wow, yeah, it is like a dessert, isn't it? It's nice, it's kind of bitter, so it kind of counteracts the sweetness of the kind of egg pudding on top of it. It's so good. The coffee's really strong. Your neck, yours. <laughs> <laughs> you drink it really fast, you're like... Ah. Wow. I feel awake. Mm. It was way better than I expected as well. The taste was just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Get an egg coffee here. Yeah, yeah you Obviously. need to come here and get an egg coffee. <laughs> Wherever you are. All right, we've got a seven minute walk to the next place and it's street murals. Whoa, look at that. It's crazy, it's got olives in it. These optical illusion murals are actually a joint street art project between Vietnam and Korea, which is still largely undiscovered by Western tourists. The artworks stretch from number 1 Phong Hung Street to number 95. Their memories of Hanoi, an old electric train, street vendors, Long Bien Bridge, women Yao Diai, and a scholar teaching calligraphy. stop at Train Street and it is a place where the train passes really close to the tracks. The train passes really close to the tracks, I hope so. And it's a place where the train passes really close to residential houses. There seem to be several on Google Train Street. 
streets and there's another couple here that are also wanting to take pictures but there's a no entry sign for pedestrians so it looks like you can't walk down it anymore. We only looked up the times for that, this one and apparently they come at 3 o'clock and 7 o'clock. The other train street is north of Hanoi Station so there'll obviously be different times but I think we should go and check that one out. I think it looks a bit more pretty and accessible. One thing that's very different from Japan, of course, is the lack of pavements. Well, there are pavements, but they're full of crap, people's wares. And at the same time, at night, they're completely clear. It's quite strange. There's Hanoi Main Station. Still be going there later. the train street. Now we're going to try and get into one of these cafes and be as close as possible to the banging you know, to the train <laughs> when it comes through, hopefully in the next half an hour or so. You can get a seat at a cafe, they'll let you onto the tracks. Let you onto the tracks? Not onto them, next to them. All right, let's try and get a seat before anyone else does. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> All right, let's go down. So we're following some guy down an alleyway for a coffee and hopefully a view of the tracks. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Oh my god, we're here. So this guy is just stood outside this dark alley and uh, thank you. And he said, Do you want coffee? Like, yeah, <laughs> okay. And then suddenly, boom. We we're shown through the corridor and then into this nice little spot. I love moments like this. <laughs> How cool was that? We end up on the track. This is actually really scary. I'm inches away from the rail. But it's so cool. We're gonna have an egg cocoa this time. And you're having a bit. Okay. Oh, thank you. Unfortunately, I think we've come at the wrong time. It sounds like there's one this morning and then there's not one coming through here until 7 o'clock tonight. So, we've missed the train. But it is Friday the 13th, I've just realised as well, so... That could be the reason. <laughs> to all of you watching this video right now, those are the times of the train. <laughs> it don't come at the wrong time. It's not worth it. <laughs> oh, I think it's, it's very, lovely. It's very pretty. It's a nice experience, especially to work out the bureaucracy. So, literally, just there, down the end, where that gate is, where is it? There. So you can't walk through there. However, you need to come round the back here, round here, round behind here, down the dark alleyway, and then you can come out here, and you can then walk down this entire street, no problem. You think they're just down there, and they're wondering how we got here. Today. <laughs> We've just been asked to move back about two inches <laughs> from the tracks because the boss is coming. <laughs> and there's a train coming in four hours. This is the street and managed to escape the police officer here. It's behind us. People are taking photos around the corner where you can't see them. Sorry, sorry, right now I'm going to try and head back down. Probably get a whistle though. Let's give it a go. Well done. I made it back. Unscathed. Okay. No whistles. You didn't even notice me. <laughs> Good effort, but the, the group of Westerners tried to get it through en masse. <laughs> Didn't work. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It's fun, if, no train, but at least you got to see the dynamic of the place, which is basically, if you pay money, you'll get anywhere. Off to our next stop, which is the Water Puppet Show. I have no idea what it is, but I'm excited because I love water and I hate puppets. So now we're at the lake, it's called Ho Huan Kiem. And in the middle of it, there's an island, and that is where the Water Puppet Show is. The clock. Oh, is it not? I don't think so. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you love it. We've got a choice of either 150 dong or 200 dong. That's 200,000 dong. What would you like to do? Before the time runs out. Bought them. Here they are. We're gonna exchange them for tickets. And then we're gonna go get coffee. Yeah, we haven't eaten today, have we? What? We've just given them a stuff new for you. Lovely. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. I'm really excited about this. We got our tickets. We decided to go for the £7.50 option instead of the £5 option uh, just to get a better seat. And then they've also given us these. Yeah, it's just a cow and a guy. Oh, I know it, because the show is meant to be about farming life in uh, Vietnam. I think. So I think that is relevant. Why do you hate puppets? I don't know. I never liked Pinocchio or things like that. Just the thought of inanimate objects coming alive weirds me out. <laughs> and these look like the kind of nightmare puppets I had as a kid. If you see me crying or convulsing on the floor, just drag me out. Just time for food. This is a really awkward yeah. camera angle. Yeah. At least you can see our pizzas though. Yeah, pizzas. <laughs> I didn't cry. That was so beautiful and otherworldly. Yeah. As she cried at the beginning. Did you? Yeah. Oh. I think it's the women singing. Like they were so stunning. It's such a, an exotic sound, and obviously they have different scales and just oh, the music was incredible. Yeah. And the puppeteering was very clever, wasn't it? Yeah, I couldn't figure it out for ages. I thought they were doing it from the top, like a normal puppet show, but then I was like, there are no strings on these. Yeah. How they made them move as well, like there were fish and people and different animals. A godlike tortoise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna go to Hanoi Night Market, see if it's open. We're doing this. Let's go. I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> I meant to cross this. Have you done that? No, thanks. Hello. We've walked to the night market. It looks like it's not on. I think we can probably all guess why. Ah, well. Probably not a major thing, but we're gonna head back to the hostel now, grab all our stuff, and get on a night train to our next destination.
no one else in our room. Ugh. Okay. Eleven. This is us. You look really cramped in this hallway. I know. <laughs> uh, one and two. What's that? Oh, bottom. Bottom, bottom. Bottom, bottom. bottom. Get it. Yes. Oh my god, that's a mosquito. Kill it. We cannot have that in here all night long. Yes. Yes. We've got a little bin. <laughs> so nice. If it's just us, this will be perfect. Yeah, come in. Oh. The lady who runs the train just came in and asked us to sign our nationalities. And we asked her if there's anyone else in these bunks above us, and she said, No! Wait! Yes! It's, not that we, <laughs> it's not that we don't like people, we just like space. We have a whole cabin to ourselves! There's going to be more and more mosquitoes down south. Hmm, yeah. We haven't even said where we're going yet. Oh, yeah. Our next stop on this journey is Dong Hoi. We arrive at about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. It leaves about now, 20 past 10 in mm -hmm. the evening, and then we get to a hostel, and then we're gonna go explore a national park called Bung Na. It looks beautiful. That'll be the next video. All right, so we'll just take you around the train, and then we'll probably hit the hay, because it's gonna be a long night. There's six. Dryer, a cup dispenser, and some hot cold water. Perhaps. Toilets. Toilet tour. This is the toilet. Most paper basket. Vietnamese sewage systems don't have the capability to uh, put paper down the toilet. I can see someone's already done that, but normally you wouldn't you put it in. A couple of barn me, their fried egg Vietnamese rolls in little mini baguettes, and they're really yummy. Just a takeaway. And Sam. Yes. This looks like a vodka. Oh, yeah, it does. Mm. It's like a roast dinner and a roll. We got the train because it's cheaper. Again, you get a nice accommodation and travel. Mm. This was about £30 each. We're just gonna eat our barn bees now and then probably head to bed. So we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and remember, as always, subscribe if you're liking what you see. We're doing this journey doing a trying time for the travel world. By the time you actually see this, I'm sure a lot more will have developed. But you'll get to see our take on it, see how we go. Please subscribe. It really helps us, keeps us going. Thank you very much. A lot of people are saying that it's um, not if you get stuck, it's where. 